Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for another YouTube video. Today is a video that I have been requested many times and it is to show you guys how I prep my meal planning and the recipe books that I use and where I just find meal inspo and I'm going to take you along for some grocery shopping and I'm so excited to take you along with me and just to show you guys how I and my husband do things and kind of give you some inspiration if you are lacking in this area. We used to just make meals like as we wanted and we would just pick meals like sporadically and not have a grocery list all that much other than essential things and just grab whatever we saw. But we have decided to really change that and we like to plan out lunch foods, breakfast foods and supper foods now rather than just having like things in the house to grab. Um, we felt like we were making a lot of unhealthy decisions that way so we like to plan out our meals and that's just what works for us. So I am going to just dive in and share the cookbooks I love and take you grocery shopping with us. <coughs> Gotta put the bacon in. Normally I go through the Magnolia Table cookbooks. I get a lot of inspiration from these cookbooks. Um, pretty much like baking, in regards to baking I would say. I use these four. Um, I'm trying to think other recipes we've used from this that I really enjoy. I have made so many recipes from this cookbook. Like I have made, yeah I've made these honey thyme roasted carrots the other day. We just made a roasted chicken. It was amazing. Um, we've pretty much like we've made a lot of a lot of recipes from this cookbook. Um, a lot of baking recipes. I really like her muffins and just like baked goods that she does. We've done the homemade tortilla, the homemade pizza dough, and yeah, it's it's such an amazing cookbook. Like there's charcuterie boards and instructions on how to make it, just kind of as a guide. And I love these two cookbooks. I use these probably every week um, and oh I have to get something else because this is where I get my real inspiration from so I'm gonna go get that. Okay so this is the binder that me and my husband use and we put in all the HelloFresh recipes that we've ever gotten. Um, this is amazing. I will say that. This is just amazing and this is where I find most of my meal inspiration. Um, I'm gonna try to show you. Okay so within this book we've organized it for meat. And like chicken, beef, whatever the meat is. Um, then HelloFresh uses a lot of Beyond Meat, so we also made a section for that. Um, we also do vegetarian options, so with no meat, we have a section for that. And it just really keeps it organized. And we have a lot of go-to recipes that we really enjoy from HelloFresh. Um, but I will say, like, it does add up ordering HelloFresh like every month. Um, so we've decided to just make it our own. Um, I'll also leave in the comments, because this is something I shared on Instagram that a lot of people didn't know. Um, there is a article written, and it is compiled of all the recipes within Pinterest of how to make their spice blend. And it is a go-to resource for us. Every time we make a HelloFresh meal, we need like a uh, shawarma spice blend or something like that. And now we have the ingredients to make it all, and that makes it so much more helpful. So I will leave that down below so you guys can reference back to that too if you're wanting to do this. Okay, so so far I've gone through two uh, major things. So cookbooks and the HelloFresh binder. So those are one and two ways for how to meal plan. And then my computer. I'll show you where I'm going to go. Hello, kitty. So this is my Pinterest. Pinterest is my best friend when it comes to meal inspo. Um, I have pinned so much over the years that I have like thousands of pins and I've organized it. So this is a chicken one. So I click 
chicken and I'll show you I'll just tell you what kind of stuff comes up there's Asian chicken wraps there's double crunch honey garlic chicken breast everything bagel chicken tenders with maple mustard dipping sauce and I have just um, pinned so much stuff over the years and that really helps me so if I'm wanting something with chicken I can go into that I have a section for pasta easy suppers soups and it's just all organized so well. I also have a spot for my instant pot recipes. So just based on what I'm wanting to do, um, with summer coming along, I'm gonna be planning a lot more barbecue foods and things that are gonna be cooked in my instant pot. Uh, just because we live in a mobile home that does not have air conditioning and it can get very, very hot in our house and we're not about that life. <laughs> we're not about it. So that is where I go. Those are my three resources I use for meal planning, um, other than seeing it on Instagram from an influencer and being like, hey, I want that recipe. Um, I've also heard amazing things about half-baked harvest cookbooks. So that is probably the next one on my list, along with Oh She Glows cookbook. I wanna get my hands on both of those 100%. So that is the first step covered of where I find my recipes. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of you ask where I get my meal inspo from and it is just from those three resources combined and just other people sharing them with me as well. And so from here, then me and my husband sit down and I have a note. And on my notes, I write down the kind of meals that I'm wanting to do and just to confirm it with him that he's okay with that or if we want to substitute one meal for another meal he's craving and just kind of work with each other on that. So my husband's going to be coming out shortly and we'll sit on the couch and just kind of discuss what we want for the next two weeks and go from there. Okay, so for our suppers that we have planned, I'm just going to list it off to you. So I have one recipe I got from my mom. So we're going to be doing ribs, cornbread, and coleslaw. And then from HelloFresh, we have Beyond Meat Gyros and chicken schnitzel and green beans. And then from the Magnolia Cookbook, we have fish tacos. Uh, we're going to be using the naan bread recipe they have along with butter chicken for a meal. Uh, the butter chicken isn't included in the Magnolia table. It's just chicken and the stuff from Costco, the butter chicken sauce, the best. And then we're using a honey garlic chicken and pineapple recipe from the Magnolia table as well. Uh, for lunches, we don't really plan it out all that much. Um, we kind of just make sure there's stuff to have smoothies or like cheese crackers and pickles. It's a go-to of mine. I also like the canned chicken from Costco with some mayonnaise and pickles in it on a bun. So just having some general items that we can grab and make lunch is what we're going for. And then breakfast is just like oatmeal, eggs, smoothies, that kind of thing as well. So let's go grocery shopping together. So something we have implemented every time that we do grocery shopping is going through our fridge and just throwing out leftovers that we didn't eat that has gone bad. Uh, we kind of like to clean out the drawers. It gets pretty nasty. 
and just organize the fridge so that when we come home, we can just stick the groceries right in the little time. Aww. <laughs> right into the fridge. I truly can't believe that I recorded all of that without knowing that my shirt was inside out and there's like straps. <laughs> so let's fix that. Okay, so for grocery shopping today, we're going to be going to a superstore. Normally, we go to Costco for uh, specific items, and we just did that last week, so we're not going to be hitting up Costco today. Uh, but we collect optimum points, and they rack up very quickly when we shop at Superstore, so we really like to shop there. Um, no frills is just... Honestly, it's just too small. We really like it. It's bigger. There's a bigger selection, especially for the spice blends that we need. A lot of the ingredients are very specific and can't be found at Nofro's, so that's why we enjoy shopping there. Don't forget the gift. Oh yes, the free gift. If you spend like $250 or $300, you get the free gift. And so we are going to go there. favorite brand of soap. It's so good. got our groceries here and Josh is in the office we have a our fridge where we put all of our drinks so he's just loading that we got some strawberry bubblies some dr pepper i need a recipe that uses that so that's why we got that and then Josh likes mountain dew so we also got some of that if you hear the shower in the background my husband is just cleaning out the compartments of the fridge we don't have a kitchen sink right now because our faucet is broken so that is what the sound is if you can hear that so let's go through the first basket. So we have some buttermilk. We have some cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice with ice. It's my favorite drink ever. And then I have some orange juice. Some olive oil here. A barbecue chicken for one of our recipes. Some broccoli for broccoli salad I'm making today. I was out of cocoa powder, so cocoa powder. Some cherry pie because for Easter dinner we don't have really plans, so we thought we'd pick this up and just heat it up for an easy Easter dessert. Something spilled all over everything right now. What was it? Um, then we have some bacon, two packs of bacon. We like our bacon over here. And then we have some sausage rounds for egg muffins. Some chicken breasts, some croissants, some arugula, 
tortilla shells, and two kinds of veggie straws. The rosemary and olive oil, and the sour cream and onion. Oh, yum, those are new. Yeah, yeah sour cream and onion are new. And then cheddar cheese. What you don't know is that I really made it discreet, but the chicken or something leaked all over everything I just picked up. Oh, so sick. I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> look at this, it's like, look at it, it's like jelly. What? I think it's from the barbecue chicken. Cause it's like oh, yeah. over everything. Yeah, like, it totally is, yeah. Look at the arugula. Yes, I think the chicken was on That's that. That's gross. But then we saw these cracker assortment box. It's President's Choice brand. And there's so many different crackers. There's arrowroot, um, cracked black pepper, extra cheesy garlic, rosemary, and olive oil, water crackers, wheat square, acai viago, asiago, asiago. I think so. I'm not sure. So. Asiago and sun dried tomato, mini crisp and thin sea salt, rosemary, and zuki's, which is animal crackers. And I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited. Then we have some strawberries. They were actually a reasonable price. I think they were like five eighty or something for them. So, and they look really good quality. And then we have some bananas, a cucumber, a cucumber. Uh, don't mock me. A pineapple. We have some bell peppers, tomatoes, mangoes, some green beans. Got Sorry. Little jelly. Some chicken breast, some black forest ham, a giant bag of coleslaw for a side salad uh, with roots and cornbread, and then I'm also going to be using it on top of fish tacos because that is so tasty. Have some grapes. Josh has some candy. Oh. They're like the ones you got out of that machine when you're like four. Yeah, you put like a quarter in and got them all? Yeah. They're like bananas and the berry ones. Oh, they're so good. I beg to differ. You like them. I like the bananas, that was the only one. Alright. And then I also got this one, I've never tried this one before, but I needed a protein powder for after my workouts. Um, and this is a protein and energy, it's with MCT oil, which comes from coconuts, salt and vinegar chips, Josh likes them. I do not because I overeat on them one time and my tongue turned purple and it was not a pleasant experience. So I like them occasionally, but it's not my go-to. And then we have some parsley, some cilantro, a big bag of limes. We use limes for almost every meal, especially our Mexican meals. Then we have some chicken bouillon concentrate. We have some Italian style breadcrumbs. This is for our chicken schnitzel to coat it with. We have some carrots, apples, an onion, some dill pickle, lots of butter. It was on sale. I know I picked the biggest red pepper. <laughs> Josh is like in awe of how big the red bell peppers were. <laughs> I picked like one that was like this big. Uh, I have four packages of butter. I bake a lot and it's just used in so many recipes. Got some sour cream, some smoked paprika. Then I also got these apple chips. They are bear brand and I normally get a different brand but I couldn't find any of them anywhere. So we were going with these. I was craving them so I had to pick up some. We have some hot sauce and some honey and garlic pepperoni sticks. It looks so good. This is the best brand. What is it? Grimm's. And then I got the Green Beaver Company uh, body lotion. And that, I believe, concludes our grocery haul.
Okay, so I'm gonna be preparing a broccoli salad with grapes and onions and like all the goodness you could think of bacon. And so I have the oven preheated and I have my bacon right here. I'm gonna oven cook it and I'm gonna put it in for like 17 minutes in the oven at 400. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have some quick lunch. Uh, we just got back from grocery shopping and I'm hungry. So I have some leftover California rolls from Prairie Sushi, the best, the best. I was thinking I could record me eating this and talk with you guys, but you know how sushi is. It's gonna be a gonna be a wild ride. I said that in my last YouTube video. Maybe that'll be my new saying. So that's what. Do you think that means that someone uses oil or not? Who do you think did that? <laughs> Use butter in that. Butter is not oil. Oh, it, it definitely is a substitute. Do you think it worked? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. That definitely like that. <laughs> Not when I use it. Have you ever made eggs in it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you make eggs in it and then I'll show them. Meanwhile, Skitters is just having the time of her life. What are you doing? There's a meow at you. Yeah. That's a double shot? I guess so. That seems uh, weird, but maybe in that cup it looks weird. Well, think about it. A cup is three times that, so it's, yeah, that yeah, would be... That makes sense. Totally, yeah. What are you putting in, white chocolate? Yeah. Show them how you make it. You put some whipping cream in there. Let me smell it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that doesn't smell that great to me. That sounds very, smells oh. very bitter. Try it again. Put your whole mouth in it. All face. Ooh, no, no, no. I don't like smelling coffee. Mm, I think it smells very good. I want to try it too. This is the Nicaragua uh, Nespresso's. I'll show you what they look like. Which one is it? So this is what the Nicaragua, it's a limited edition. Um, that's what it looks like. Why do you do that? <laughs> That's really funny. I think you need more white chocolate. Is that correct? No, not yet. Here, can I? Mm, wow. Can I try it? Yeah. It tastes like a um, chocolate oh, wow. milk. It totally tastes like chocolate milk. Which I think is how iced coffee is supposed to taste. How much did you put in this? Not a lot. Really? Yeah. Oh, I guess you used whipping cream. I used a very little bit of whipping cream too. Yeah. And 2% milk? Yeah. Wow. The white that makes it syrup. a delicacy. So my camera just died or I would be recording on that. Um, but I have my broccoli salad all made now. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge until we eat it. And then I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. So thank you for joining along with me as I plan the next two weeks of meals and grocery shopping with me. It was so much fun and I loved including you in our journey with that. And I hope that you guys have a great Easter weekend. By the time this is edited and everything, it's going to be way past, but I hope you guys had a lovely Easter weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.